Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to Python tutorial number 33. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the ELIF statement. And the ELIF statement is, or can be, part of an IF block and it allows a bit more diversity. Now, without the ELIF, if we want to do several checks but on the same value, let's create that value first. We'll say x equal to 50. If we want to do several checks to find out the value of x, um, exactly, then we might do something like the following, we might say if x is less than 50, oops, print true, okay, no true, so then if x is greater than 50, print true, okay, so x is basically so definitely 50, let's just do a final check to see if it is, okay, so we get true on that final one, but, um, this requires us to use three separate if statements. Well, the elif, or it's actually called, it actually stands for else if. The else if statement uh, allows us to combine that into one whole if statement. Um, and some of you might be wondering why you need it. Well, let's say, um, let's say rather than checking to see if x was equal to fifty last I checked to see if it was second or say I checked like five things say the the check to see if it was equal to 50 was um, was uh, third or something then the other two checks that come after that wouldn't be done whereas if we had five separate if statements they would and it's a it's um it's very small performance issue but it will add up if you have it continuously like that and so just to prevent pointless check it's also bad programming practice as well to have pointless checks in there if you've got a check which is third in a list of five or six there's no point in executing the other three so uh... that's why it's bad programming practice and to avoid it we use the elif statement so let's just rewrite what we had up here we're gonna say if x is less than fifty print true and then we're gonna say L if I'll do it here because for some reason I can only if I press uh, backspace it goes all the way to the beginning but oh well then I'll say L if x is greater than 50 and okay this does that uh, let's try this again okay now we'll say L if x is greater than 50 there we go okay print true L if x equals equals 50 print true and you can see see we still get the true now let's rewrite this and um, we'll type true 1 here true 2 here and true 3 here just so I can prove it to you if x is less than 50 oops sorry if x is less than 50 print true L if x is greater than 50, print true, true 1, true 2, sorry, true 2, L if x equals 50, print true 3. And you can see we get true 3. Now let's switch the order around just so, so I can finally prove to you that it's uh, it's it's working properly. I'll say if x is less than 50, print true 1. L if x equals equals 50, print true 2. L if x is greater than 50, print true 3. And we get true 2, so obviously this is working. And it's not... Uh, it, when this works, when we get true for this, Okay, it only executes this, and it doesn't even bother checking this. Because this is else if, that means it only checks it if none of the others are true, or have been executed, okay? So that's what the elif is for. Next, uh, next tutorial, sorry, we'll be looking at the uh, else statement, which is the final block you need to complete uh, to have a, a full if statement. Uh, for now, guys, that's over now.